This is without a doubt one of the best duck dishes I've ever had. Just perfect. Oh my god, spicy. <sighs> I can feel my tongue. This is the spiciest I've ever tried. Buongiorno guys, it's Max in Astra, I'm in Surabaya, it's Java, Indonesia, and today is going to be a crazy episode. It's gonna be a late night food tour from 5 p.m. until late night. We're gonna be having fried duck, super spicy food, and a lot in between. You don't wanna miss this. Andiamo! First place of this uh, late night food tour, we came to a legend, legendary place. I'm going to try a dish that I've been recommended literally by everyone here in Surabaya, Bebe Goreng. Hello, Mala. Oh, here's where they fry the chicken and the duck. Mamma mia. So everything has been obviously marinated in yellow spices. Look, a mountain of ducks and chickens. I'm really looking forward to try it out. Pasa Marembelati. Makasi. The famous duck has arrived. We order one Thai, one breast, gizzard, and liver. Everything obviously marinated, then super mega deep fried. And what I love about this, they serve the spices, they marinate it in the pro. And then something very important, the sambal. That looks good. Okay, let's get some. Now, it is super hot. Oh, oh my God, so tender, <laughs> so tender. Let's get a piece, more than a piece. Oh yeah. Let's pour a bit of the broth, the spices here. And yes, let's enjoy the duck with the sambal. All together, all right, let's try to make a polite bite. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Hey, Bo. And a bang, and a huh? bang. And a bang. Wow, month up. Amazing. And by the way, she's the owner. So lovely. The duck is super mega tender. The chili is fantastic. Pairs perfectly with the meat. Look, look, look how tender it is. So meaty, tender, and the spices are not overpowering the flavor. Just perfect. I want to try as well the lizard or sambal. Mamma mia. What's the secret of this duck? Mm. Oh. oh wow! I expected it to be a bit hard and chewy. It's creamy. Oh, cream! This is without a doubt one of the best duck dishes I've ever had. I'm money out. No, this is illegal. This is a category illegal. Absolutely amazing. Success a lot, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, illegal. Only one word, illegal. Now we're going for more. Die. After the crazily illegal uh, fried duck, now we came to a, a local specialty. This is unique to Surabaya, Tau Telor, with a very special sauce. Let's go. Uh, malam. Okay, malam. Tau telor. Boleh? Uh, Satu. KB berapa? Pedas uh, atau enggak? Pedas. Pedas? Iya. Yeah. Bos makan sini? Makan di sini. Siap, ya. Dapat. Uh, telur. Telur, lontong, lontong. kentang, tau ge. Oh, oke. Okay. Nah. Oh my god, that's so fast. Punya kacang sama pete. Oh, oke. Okay. Oh, look at the sauce. Oh, man, they are <laughs> it's super fast, you can, you can barely feel me. This is a very simple station where they have tofu, egg, bean sprouts, compressed rice, and their secret sauce. At the end of this station, they basically just fry everything. We just got uh, Tau Telor is an iconic dish of Surabaya. Look at this sauce. This is peanut sauce mixed with fermented shrimp paste. What are the ingredients? We have uh, 
black eyed peas or uh, stock and maybe bean sprouts. Then we have compressed rice, tofu, potato, chili. We made it extra spicy and egg as well. Oh, let's mix it up. The sauce reminds me of the one that we had yesterday, the rujak. It looks like more of a peanut sauce. Let's get a bite. Let's try a bit of everything. Oh, let's get some krupuk as well. A couple of krupuk, a bit of the sauce. Yes. Buon appetito, ragazzi. Mm, mm. Mm, okay, you can definitely taste the chili, the peanut sauce and a bit of the fermented shrimp paste. It's actually not as intense as the one that I had yesterday with the rujak chingur. I love the consistency of the mushy potato, the egg, like everything is kind of starchy, mushy, soft and creamy. I just love it. Oh, no, no. This is a bomb. Absolutely a comforting dish. And the sauce. The sauce is the key. Sweet, peanutty, spicy. You got a touch of the fermentation of the um, fermented shrimp paste. Whoever mixes and makes the sauce is the real master. He's the key person by the dish. And the guys, so nice and friendly, very welcome. What a cool place. That's so nice. Oh, this dish was so lovely. It reminds me of uh, Gado Gado, a very um, famous Indonesian dish. Uh, really popular among foreigners. It's basically a mixed steamed vegetable salad. So with either rice or um, lonton, um, compressed rice and uh, peanut sauce all over, chili, krupuk, crackers, just amazing. Now we're going to our third location. To continue our late night food tour here in Surabaya, we came to a local place where the gentleman makes a very special nasi goreng. Hello, pasa, mala. Ni nasi goreng chumi. Oh. Nasi goreng, so fried rice with squid. It's very special, I've never seen it before. Oh, in Italy. Yeah. Garlic. The gentleman is so lovely. And look at what he's wearing. Roma t-shirt. <laughs> From my city. Oh, in Italy. Yeah. Oh. Look at the squid. Beautiful. I just love nasi goreng so much and I heard this place makes uh, with the squid because I'm curious about the final result because the color of the of the rice that we surprise the rice goes in mixes everything already the color is changing it's turning into gray oh yeah and this is the ink, squid ink. Squid ink infused nasi goreng that will turn black. I love how carefully he adds all the spices to it. Oh yeah, the smell, nice. Seafood. Tu da berapa lama di sini, Pa? 2006, Pa. Oh, 2006, oh. Yeah. 18 tahun? Iya, pertama ini jual di sini. Sekarang banyak yang ini. Oh, oh ya? Iya. So, it's the first one uh, selling uh, nasi goreng cumi with the squid in the area. And then everyone followed. He's the pioneer of the nasi goreng cumi. Ini kayak ada belajar dari sini. Gak bisa, tidak bisa. He's a master. Ini kalau nggak lama, yeah. Ini pertama kali saya coba nasi goreng cumi. Itu pedas ya? Pedas ya. Oh, sambal. Satu aja. That looks spicy. Let's keep it one. I want to sleep well tonight. <laughs> and over here, we're making the egg. Mantap. Terima kasih. 
Oh, beautiful! Oh, this looks amazing. <laughs> Nasi gore. So fried rice with squid, lots of spices. Super mega spicy chili and egg. Let's get a few squid. Yes, one appetito. <laughs> oh, oh, pa. Ena. Oh, ena. Yeah. So nice, see? Took a lot of time to mix the rice with all the ingredients, all the spices. Mm. Oh. Mm. And yes, the seafood, seafood flavor. She's really lovely. Now let's go for the egg. And it's quite spicy, yeah? Surabaya food is known to be spicy. Comfort dish. This is pure comfort dish. The squid are fresh, spices, garlicky, and a bit salty. And the rice is kind of al dente. I can have fried rice every day, really. It's so spicy. I mean, I love it. I love it when it's spicy. No spicy, no party. So, no sambal, no chili, no happiness for me. Prima casa, eh? Ma torno un. Success e l'alu, eh? Bye. Mamma mia, it's, it's so nice, it's so nice. Let's continue our food adventure. We made it to our fourth location of the night to have Soto, Soto Ayam. Super traditional, super local. Look, at the side of the road, let's go. Hello, Samua. Hello, Ma. It's Soto Ayam. Soto Ayam. This is the... Oh, look at the chicken. Super popular. Oh, nice. See all the bones. They give the real flavor. Bones, spices. Here we came to the right spot. What do you think, Charlie? She loves Soto. Hola, <laughs> Pesan. Hola. Say my uh, Satu Soto. Soto Soto. Okay, okay. Nasi, uh, me. Nasi, Ampla. Atiampella? Yeah. Prima casi. He has chopping uh, geezer, got also chicken skin. Quite a lot. A dry and portion. They saw me starving. Oh, rice, blue noodles, got skin, also a bit of the breast as well. Beautiful. Yes. Organs as well. That's a kid size portion. Oh. And the broth. This is the perfect dish when outside is raining. Oh, palavai. This is the reason we came here. Couldn't get better than this. Prima casi. Okay, let's go eat. Still can. Prima casi. Oh, look at what I have in front of me. This mega galactic, huge soto. Oh, we have it all. We have rice at the bottom. We have blue noodles, chicken skin. Then we have gizzard, liver. Oh my goodness. Okay, what I've been told is to squeeze a bit of the lemon. Oh, pala, bye. Oh, look at the chicken. Nice. This is mega cool. All right, let's try to get a bit of everything. Huh? Buon appetito. Super hot. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh. Lovely, lovely, comforting. Nice touch from the lemon. I love the turmeric, the different consistencies between the skin, which is chewy. Then you have noodles, rice, you have the chicken, which is mega tender and juicy, and the gizzard. Oh, fantastic. What a dish. This is the best, especially right now. It's a bit chilly, nighttime, the side of the road, you know, with the atmosphere and uh, it's rainy. With a bit of a music at the background, amazing. Mm. Let's try to add a bit of this. This is basically grated krupuk. So let's put in parmesan, krupuk parmesan on top. And then sambal. Ambal, yes. Surabaya food is pretty spicy and I love it. I love it because of this. Now let's mix up everything. Here in Indonesia, they know what they're doing. They love their soto so much, especially chicken soup. Come on. Mm -hmm. Sour, citrusy and spicy. It's nice. Oh man, and it's mega packed. 
really nice. I'm managed by these guys, they really know what they're doing. The shop is full. It's a really cool setup, really cool place. This is a classic on the side of the road. It doesn't get any better than this. I'm just loving it so much. Oh, Surabaya food. Top notch. This is one of the street food capitals, and if not, the street food capital of Indonesia. And to end our late night street food tour here in Surabaya, we came to a very legendary place. Sego Sambal, Mag, yeah, yeah, Asli, where they sell rice with super mega spicy sambal and smoke stingray. But before lining up, I just wanna say a couple of words uh, for the Soto Ayan that we had before. It was absolutely insane. And according to Shirley, well, her personal experience, that was her favorite Soto Ayam ever. So one of the best Soto she's ever had. Can you confirm Shirley with me? Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's confirmed. It was absolutely delicious. The staff was super friendly, very nice. And that huge bowl was super affordable. I mean, pay a visit because they're super nice and they serve incredible Soto. Now, let's line up. Adapa. Uh, ikan, telur, sama tempe. Yeah. Lele, enga. Tapi sambal, eh? Pedas. Lovely. So we have egg, tempe, smoked stingray, and super spicy sambal. Prima kasi. Opala, let's go. Yeah, we just saw the kitchen where they're cooking. Everything is a simple man. Hello, boo. Hello, semua. Hello, mala. See, they're making the stingray, smoked stingray, and then the omelette. Simple menu, yet delicious. And on the right, we have the tempe section. Whoa. So this is the stingray. I believe it's smoked first, obviously. Hey, asap dulu. Asap, terus habis itu dikit-dikit dulu, Oh, okay. Simple production, simple, efficient, fast, and everyone loves it. Now, it's time to eat. Terima kasih semua ya. Terima kasih. Oh, guys, look at this crazy meal. So we have smoked stingray. Take a look over here. So we're the super famous for fish. So we have tempeh. We also have this huge omelette. And at the top, we have this super spicy sambal. So there are two versions. They are sweet spicy or the super mega spicy. Of course, I had to go for the super mega spicy. That's the reason I'm here. Okay, let's try to get a bit of everything. Rice, tempeh, omelette, and a piece of the fish. Buon appetito. Mm. It's quite bony, but oh, that smoky flavor, it goes all over your mouth, up to your nostrils. The meat is tender, super meaty actually. Then, what eats you very heavily is the sambal. Oh man, that sambal is spicy, yes. Pure chili and the tempeh. Oh, I love the consistency of the tempeh. Almost kind of a uh, crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, what a dish. And by the way, this place just opened and it was already full, mega packed with people lining up outside. This is a late night dinner. They open at 9 p.m. and they're already full. Look at this fish. You can't get wrong with fish here in Indonesia. Super fresh, affordable fish. Oh, by the way, the sambal is eating, huh? No, immediately. I have to be honest, not immediately, but now I almost cannot feel my tongue. Oh, I'm um, salivating. Mm -hmm. Oh, the thing, right? Oh, no, it's almost like eating chicken. It's that consistency. So meaty. Oh, man, the sambal. It's super spicy, but it's addictive. That's the problem with sambal. You want it on uh, every dish. Super pedas, yeah? <laughs> 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 
Oh my god, spicy. Oh man. Oh my, I, I can't feel my tongue. Oh my god, I'm tearing. I'm almost tearing. All right, I'm going to finish this. Huh? See you in a bit. Oh guys, can you see my tears? I'm tearing. Oh my god, I'm crying. I need to take it with a look. Man, I'm crying. Mamma mia, oh. I think this, this is um, the spiciest I've ever tried. Oh my god. I'm flying. I think I'm flying. This took me to another planet, but in a different way. It's like a, a punch. A punch from Tyson. <laughs> but I can't stop eating it because it's so delicious. Oh, too comforty. Yeah, maybe next time I'll try with the other sambal, the sweet. The sweet spicy version. This one is this one is crazy. Crazy spicy. Guys, that was absolutely the spiciest meal I've ever had. I cried and for the first time I wasn't able to finish the meal because it was too spicy. Well I finished the food, I didn't finish the sambal. It was uh, crazy spicy. Anyway, having said so, we had a, an incredible food tour, night food tour. This will show you that Surabaya at night is more than alive. It's plenty of food, incredible street food. This is one of the street food capitals. I need to uh, keep saying this because the food is absolutely incredible. And the people, just some of the friendliest. Having said so, thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Ciao.